What's going on, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And welcome to part three of the 670cc go-kart build. That's right, we are putting a 670cc uh, Predator engine on a go-kart. This build would not be possible without go-kart Power Sports, who provided the uh, parts and Cars Amino, which is an online automotive community. That It's an app you can download for your Android or iPhone. Uh, and it's a place where you can interact with other car enthusiasts. You are not distracted by other non-car related things. Who needs things other than cars and go-karts, dude? Is there things other than cars and go-karts? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. But anyway, yeah. Cars Amino is a safe haven for you people who are all about cars all the time. So go download it, check it out. We've got some polls and cool exclusive content on there. So anyway, in this part, we are um, taking the frame apart, disassembling it, uh, cleaning it, painting it, uh, doing all kinds of fancy stuff, putting the wheels and tires on. We already did it. The first intro we did, the audio was messed up. But, uh, yeah, this is what we're doing. You know what it looks like? What does it look like? What? Move your knee. Oh, yeah. It looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy this part, guys. Thank you, Go Power Sports. Thank you, Cars Amino. Thank you, viewers. None of this would be possible without you. All righty. So let's uh, see about relocating the kill switch, which is right here. Uh, and we're going to be relocating it to up there. Uh, so we can turn it off in case it runs away with us on it. Man, what were you thinking? Dude, it was you. You were like, hey, man. Don't put that on me. You are like, hey, man. Pump the brakes. Get on it and hold the brake. Pump brakes. So. Yes. Time to get rid of our redneck seat. Yeah. <sighs> you had a good run. So it's all color-coded. So we can unplug everything. We can move it, bolt it up. Uh... Then we can like it, strip it, and after we paint it, we can put everything back together, and then we can run the wires. All fancy like. All fancy like. Nice. Yeah. Oh, cool. cool. Check it out. It oh, what else is attached? How? Oh, uh, That's the choke. See. That's fine. Right Just there. Get a screwdriver in that. Yeah. Two. A, a Phillips screwdriver. Is that a ten? Uh. It looks like pliers to me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Vice grips will work and and for for these purposes for only. Purposes. Yeah. There that goes. The choke. You don't need choke. Here comes. Yep. This unit. Cool beans. Now all we got to do is mount it like right there or something where it's more out of the way of your legs. We think we found a spot to mount the uh the key ignition. Yeah, the ignition. Right here. Yes, sir. You want to mock it up for the fine people of the internet? Yes, sir. Bam, right there. Right there. I think it was meant to be. Yeah. I just drilled the holes, and I can tell just by looking at them that I messed them up, but it'll be fine. Uh, and I just cut this bar off because we want it to be more symmetrical. Yeah. It was right there, and it was already halfway broken anyway, so. Yeah. It would not have helped us in the event of a crash. I don't think anything would on this no. thing, no. other than a helmet, maybe, but it'll be fine. I'm going to cut right there-ish and right there uh, so we can uh, lower this puppy down to fit uh, or to match that side. Might as well cut uh, cut those off too. Yeah, too bad, all right. Yep, there goes that and there goes that. So we're going to Cut some length out of this pipe so the height will match the other side. All right. Today is now Tuesday, right? Yes. Today is now Tuesday. Uh, we're working on this thing again. Uh, I guess the first thing to do, take the engine off and we need to take the rear wheels off to see if we can salvage one of the rims to use for the front because, uh, one of our, our front rims are just in such bad shape. That one has a hole in it, and that's just not going to do it 90 miles an hour beating that Corvette. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm glad you're going to be riding it. Yeah. 90. So we just need to remove that engine first, right? I mean, that would make it so much more easy to maneuver around because we have to take the rear wheels off because they know they're going to be a massive pain in the butt. Those yeah. nuts are probably frozen on there. <laughs> it looks so wimpy with all that big engine on there. 
Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, let's get to taking those wheels off. Do it. I'm doing it. <laughs> yep. Yep. She stripped. It's not as bad though. No, I mean it's still bad. So we're having a little bit of trouble getting the uh, uh, rear right hub off. Uh, just like the rear left one. Just like the rear left one. Um, yeah. So we are going to have to take it to my work and put it in the 20 ton press, probably with a little bit of heat to get the hub off. Mm. This one's better. Yeah. And all we need is one half. Well, we'll just take the best out of all the best of four. Them. Yeah. And, uh, Use those from there. Yep. yep. So John is cleaning up the uh, <laughs> the rims, all the rust in the rims, and uh, he put his uh, nice safety glasses on. And uh, safety first. Safety first, people. Safety first. Oh yeah, and we finally got our uh, grinder mounted on a pedestal. Very nice stand. We made a nice little list right there on the box, wrote it on the lid, and uh, that's what John's going to be taking care of while I'm at work tomorrow. I went to Lowe's and bought some paint. Yesterday I spent a lot of time cleaning up the frame, cleaning up some various parts, and then I, I left the go-kart outside last night and it got rained on, of course. Um, but as you can see, I got a lot of this, uh, all the, the old paint off. It's crazy to see how many colors this thing used to be. There's yellow, there's green, there's blue, there's red, there's another shade of red, uh, and there's some black in there too. I took the, uh, the whole frame apart basically the best I could, except for the steering shaft and steering wheel. I couldn't get that off. I didn't want to break it. And then I cleaned up these parts with the, uh, with the wire wheel right there. And then they got rained on and got rusty. So I'm gonna shoot some paint on those real quick before that happens again. Speaking of paint, I went to Lowe's and bought some paint. We wanted to get real nice with it. We actually like went to the paint store and bought some real paint for this, uh, but then we realized we wouldn't have time to use it. So we're gonna rattle can it. Flat black came in first in the poll. I am just updating the Cars Amino uh, page right now. Let's see, time for paint. So, and there's a photo of the different paint. So. Uh, if you haven't already, go sign up for Cars Amino and uh, get more frequent updates on this build because this video isn't going to come out until three or four days after that post came out. So, got flat black because that's what won. In second place came green. Now, uh, this was the most attractive shade of green, believe it or not, I found at the hardware store. Um, but we really thought that like a metallic green would look good. So I also bought some silver, you know, we'll do green and then maybe do a little bit of this to give the green a metallic look. I don't know. Uh, I asked your opinion on Cars Amino. I'll probably listen to the responses and uh, see how, how that goes. You guys are gonna hate me for this one. Ike is gonna hate me for this one. It kind of looks terrible. It looks absolutely terrible. And a bug already flew into it. I called Ike about our John Deere green wheel situation. Also, I'm an idiot because it says matches with John Deere green. I didn't think it would look that bad, but of course it looks that bad. It looks terrible. Um, he just told me to go to an auto parts store and pick up a metallic green there. Apparently they have metallic greens at an auto parts store. So that's what I'm gonna do and just cover that one up and we will just pretend that never happened. And we're back, everybody. Got Jackie here going hard with this, uh, the, the wire wheel on the drill, cleaning the frame. Ike over here going hard with the lacquer thinner and uh, razor, blade. razor blade, probably getting high. And Ooh, I, okay. <laughs> we don't advise people to get high. Don't get high, it's bad. Um, drugs are bad and okay. Drugs are bad and okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and in 30 minutes with a razor blade and a lacquer thinner, we have done more than I was able to do in four hours with just a razor blade. 
So I guess don't work hard, work smart. We haven't been taking much video, but uh, we've been doing a lot of work here. The frame is just about ready for paint. Ike is uh, welding up a hole, a rust hole in it. And uh, we got some paint on the brake bar here. Got some paint on the pedals. And uh, yeah, once Ike is finished welding that hole, uh, I can wipe it down and uh, prime it. But I'll do that tomorrow because it's getting late. It is yet another day out here working on this go-kart, getting it ready for paint. I put some paint on the wheels. Uh, we got some better looking green, some metallic green. Unfortunately, it doesn't look that great. I mean, it looks, it's a really nice color, but whenever it dries, it starts to crack. You can see right there. And uh, the other sides of these wheels we've already done and they crack so badly. But um, at this point, we're just kind of like, it'll be fine. And we're just gonna say that the cracks in the wheels just add to the look. It's so fast, it put cracks in the paint of the wheels. That's what we're going with. Once those wheels are dry, I will reassemble them with the tubes and new tires from Go Power Sports. Um, I painted the spindles and tie rods. This frame is almost ready for paint. As you can see, we welded up the holes and ground it down. Not the prettiest, but whatever. We are going to add a middle bar across the middle to add more uh, strength to the frame. And other than that, uh, she is ready for primer. We need to figure out some kind of wheelie bar, but we will do that after we prime and paint it. I mean, worst comes to worst, we just have to grind down flat black, add the tabs, repaint flat black. Shouldn't be too hard to respray and make it look decent. We're almost done with everything on this list that Ike made. Um, cleaning the frame is almost done. Cut the gas pedal loose. Uh, we cut the end of the motor mount, painting rims and assembly that's in the making. Brake is not done yet. Brake sitting right over there. Uh, removing the axle and the hub. We did that the other night. Clean up welds. Yep, done with that. Center bar, which I'm about to work on, and wheelie bar, which I have to wait for Ike to do because he's the wheelie bar mastermind. These wheels are dry and actually didn't come out as bad as I thought they would. Uh, they're still not perfect by any means. Um, I cleaned up the wheel hubs and uh, I'm gonna be putting the shiny new uh, tube and tire from Go Power Sports on these puppies. And these are the front wheels or the front wheels in halves. So I got the tire and tube onto that wheel and wheel hub. Now I'm just gonna put some air in the tire. Ike is here. Uh, all right. Look at all these pretty parts that are done. Well, except for the axle. Got the uh, tie rods all painted up and <laughs> they came out gloss looking when I bought flat black. It might have been satin. I don't know. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. That's right. Um, got these front wheels painted and assembled. That pretty green metallic color. Kind of it metallic. Is pretty as up thought it was going to be. Me neither, no. Right. Well, it's better than the minty. Yeah, better than the minty color on Taylor's wheels. <laughs> uh, these are the front spindles painted up. Uh, brake pedal, gas pedal. Basically all the, the little things that aren't that important are done. <laughs> and the frame is still sitting over here. Good morning again, everybody. Hopefully we're gonna have this thing done today, or at least painted and back together today. Uh, it's a beautiful day out, but it's freezing cold, but it'll be fine. Ike's supposed to show up very soon, but in the meantime, I am going to measure and cut and weld that pipe in there for uh, more structural integrity for this go-kart, because you know, if we're gonna be racing that uh, Corvette over there, she's gonna need to do some pretty fast speeds and we figured we should try to reinforce the frame a little bit at least well 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 you were supposed to call me when you got here all right dad look who finally decided to show up and he's too right. busy to even talk to me on the phone doing more important things than all making right. videos Sounds cool, dad. dude you were supposed to call me you were supposed to call me when you got here, and you didn't. Well, how long have you been here? 30 minutes. Oh, so not that long. She still should have called me. All right. So, 
So we got Darth John here. Darth John. <laughs> okay, when do you want to go see Star Wars? Oh, I want to see Star Wars. You want to see it tonight? Tonight. All right, let's go see it tonight. All right. Don't, no spoilers, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, how are they going to spoil it? <laughs> All right, so we want to get it really nice and uh, straight. So this is like eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. Sweet. So that, that as long as this pipe is lined up for, with that, uh, yeah, I got yeah, to measure that down there. Down there. So, you want me to tack it up there while while it's there? Yes. All right. Sounds good. Other side or? No, we got to do only one side. True. A little tap of the tap. I'm going to get some. Ah, nab it. <laughs> oh. That was a very evil laugh. Yeah, don't don't include that laugh, man. That was a scary laugh. Yeah, you're going to need to do tap it, tap, tap. All right. You're going to have to... Uh, Tack that a little bit better, buddy. All right. Go ahead. Ready? Yeah. All right. That better be good. That better. Otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How's that? I guess you need a measure, don't you? You need a measure. Ike, why are you welding with latex gloves? Because it's so cold out here, I'm doing everything I can to keep my hands warm. We have real gloves. Do we? I think so. Somewhere. I don't know, man. Ghost in the hammock. Yeah. How's that looking? Terrible. Oh, wow. That is... That was uh, me welding over what you did. Your tack. That's some that's some pretty looking okay. weld, man. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> as long as it holds. As long as it holds, that's right. Now just one more bar, one more bar on, the, on the bottom part. Yeah, whatever that is. Covered. We are finally almost ready to paint. We're just gonna wipe it down with some mineral spirits and then throw some paint on it. Also, I've got a confession to make. I picked up a uh, satin black, semi-gloss. So it's not quite flat and it's not quite gloss. Is that not mineral spirits? Man, who put milk in there? So we are cleaning the frame. We're giving it one last wipe down and then we are going to throw some semi-gloss part flat, part gloss paint on it. John's cleaning up the frame, doing a fantastic job. Thank you, John. Thanks, man. I mean, you're welcome. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, man, we are excited that we are just about to throw some paint on this bad boy. Hoo doggy. You know what I'm more excited about? What's that? Getting this puppy on the dyno. Uh, yeah. <laughs> is that not confirmed yet? And it's not 100% confirmed, but he did say that he'd do it. We're going to put some paint on this go-kart, finally. It Sweet. only took like a week to prep this thing. Yes, we probably should have primed it. It'll be fine. And the wind's blowing that way. But it'll be fine, that's right. We uh, painted the bottom first. And uh, that doesn't look too bad. It actually looks pretty good. We're, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know what? They probably can't tell how bad it looks. What are you talking about? It looks gorgeous. You don't have to lie. I'm not lying. It looks better than what I thought it was going to look. Yeah, same. <laughs> what are we going to do, John? Are we going to. We're gonna go warm up. Go warm up, let this dry. Flip it over and paint the top. Flip it over and paint the top. Sweet. Yep. And then we can start assembly. That's right. <laughs> Finally. All right. <laughs> so, see you in about an hour. See you in about a second, because you're not gonna watch us warm up inside. The paint's dry, so we are going to flip the frame over. I think it's dry. We think, the, yeah, we think the paint's dry, so we're gonna flip the frame over and paint the other side now. It looks dry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's oh, dry. Good. Alrighty. My wife, it's so chilly. 
Is it okay? <laughs> is it okay to be painting this cold? Uh, if you look at the direction, no. It's probably not ideal. It is definitely not the ideal condition. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? Looking awesome. Not bad. I, I'm actually glad we went with satin, even though you guys voted for flat black. I'm sorry, I apologize. Hopefully you will agree with me uh, in that I believe that the satin black is a little bit classier looking than flat black. What do you think, Ike? I agree, sir. You agree? I agree. <laughs> yeah, it's still wet right there, but right there, it's where it's kind of drying already. That's about what it'll look like. We are here at Ike's work, cutting off the... Uh, damaged ends. Yep, damaged, en damaged ends of the axle. And the, the, it just had a little bit too much rust, and when we took the Nut off. nuts off, uh, it took the threads with it. And no, they weren't reverse threads. We're gonna cut off the ends and we're gonna drill and tap the uh, axle. Cool. Yeah. Are you making any progress? Buddy, I need another drill bit. And he's gonna tap that hole. That's right. I am going to tap this hole. I am currently tapping this hole. Hopefully not messing it up. You're a little crooked, buddy. Still? No, you're good. And why are we doing this, John? So we can put some bolts in the end of here to keep the wheels from falling off. Yeah. Let's take a look at this go-kart frame. Doesn't look too bad, man. Looks really good. Yeah, it does. That feels good. Nice. Not bad for a rattle can. No. So we got the wheels on it. And uh, it's looking pretty good. Got the green wheels on the uh, cart. What do you think, John? I think it's looking pretty good. The axle yeah. is kind of a sore thumb now. But... Oh, the axle's fine. We're uh, setting up a disc brake system on it. And uh, it'll be fine. We got it, buddy. Mm -hmm. We are still going here. I just cut the brake uh cable or lever thing ike is fitting the brake on there from go power sports it's a fancy mechanical disc brake uh should be an upgrade from the drum that was on it and then we are going to be putting the engine on it mocking it up anyway getting the um lining up the sprocket where it needs to be and then taking the axle off painting it making it look nice uh we also need to attach the ignition and uh, much to do. yeah there's a lot to do so much to do so little time oh we also have to put the seat on yeah buddy it's a fancy fancy seat from go power sports thank you go power sports that's right oh that looks nice man looks like a real go-kart that someone would like pay for yes, sir. so john yeah man what are you doing i am putting some new better fitting bolts on the uh, sprocket to keep the sprocket on even though it's still wobbly we're gonna fix it, it'll be fine. Ike, what are you doing? I'm working on the front here. I'm gonna be uh, greasing up the front steering and, and uh, uh, tightening up the uh, hub bolts. Man, this thing is looking pretty sweet, man. I it's... can't wait to get this engine on it and get it all. Oh man, look at that brake. Oh yeah, brake is on. We have the engine now sitting on the frame, but just sitting there, the bolts aren't even in it. Um, we wanted to talk to you guys about a potential name we have. We're going to be making another poll out of all the suggested names that I've seen on Cars Amino, uh, and you guys are going to vote for names. So this is the one that we personally want because we think it would be the coolest. So it's painted black. It's got some green in it too, but uh, the gas tank we're using says Black Widow on it. So we were thinking on the underside of it, like when it does wheelies, we would paint a little red hourglass uh kind of playing at the whole black widow thing we think that'd be really cool so uh if you want this thing to be called black widow go on cars amino and vote for black widow or vote for any of our other names if you have your own suggestion go ahead and comment on the poll that suggestion and uh, i'll try to add it to the poll actually while that engine is sitting there let me get this seat and uh, let me just slap this puppy on there to see how it looks. 
because we got almost the, the full effect going now. It looks good, dude. Yeah. I'm glad we went with semi-gloss or uh, the satin black. I hope you guys will forgive us for that one. But the green wheels especially make it look good. I didn't really want neon green, but I think that's a good green. Stick this on yeah. Yep, dude, the Black Widow. So perfect looking. It looks so nice. She gonna be a wheelie machine. There we go. Thing actually does look pretty cool. Yeah. Once we stop working on it just to admire it, we're like, hey man, this thing looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, you're sitting significantly higher yeah it is a little cramped isn't it? but i mean it's it's fine it's fine with me i mean i'm short the engine is back off and uh we are working on taking the axle off so we can uh throw some paint on it what you doing man i'm gonna put back the uh throttle return thingy for the throttle since got we the moved it dude. over, we had to cut it out of the way. Yeah, it was right there, I think. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we didn't move it very much. Yeah. But that bar in the middle we welded sure looks uh, good, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Watch this, man. Our beautiful paint. What are you doing? Sweet. So tomorrow we're going to be mounting the battery, mounting the engine, mounting the gas tank, uh our ignition and that's about it right yeah sweet so we will see you guys in the morning for the last time this video hello again everybody we have been working on this still we haven't gotten much video because both of us have been pretty busy i've been busy messing things up and ike has been busy fixing them behind me yeah um but anyway the engine is on the chain is on the engine is bolted down uh, our fancy little key throttle ignition is mounted uh, right in a good spot, and Ike is working on mounting the gas tank. Um, the wiring is all done. Sit on it. Buddy. Sit on it. Do you want me to put the seat on it too? I think it's the seat that really brings this thing together. I mean, you know, it's all cool, but like, you know, right now it just still looks like a go-kart frame for some reason. I don't know. But then when you add the seat... It's just like, bam, complete go-kart, ready to destroy a Corvette. How's it going, man? Awesome. That might be too much. That looks good. That's good. I am making some uh, mounts for the battery here. I don't know what oh. else to say. Brackets, mounting brackets for battery. Are we actually going legit? No straps? Yeah, no ratchet straps for the battery? What, what's up with that? I don't know, man. Maybe because this go kart's gonna do 140. 40? Yeah, 140 yeah. miles an hour. Yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah. Gonna beat the pants off a uh, a Lambo now. Yeah. It looks terrible. Oh. Well, it'll be fine, man. That's right. That's what I'm thinking. Put some paint on there. So we just put the rest of the seat bolts in, so the seat is now uh, fully attached to the frame. We are going to jack the rear of the go-kart up and start it up. We are jacking it up because we don't want it to run away. If, you know, for some reason we hooked up the throttle cable wrong or something, we don't want it running away like last time. That was pretty scary. We'd like to avoid that. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Here we go. Let's see if it turns. Oh yeah, it turns nice. It turns better than it did before. Good too. All 
of you on YouTube. Without y'all, this would not be possible. That's right. This beautiful. I mean, well, I thought I'd never say it's a beautiful go kart. I mean, did you we did see this thing. Yeah, it was. We did I mean, pretty good a, on this, dude. It is. A, it was a total piece. Let's do a wheelie. Let's like, do a wheelie. Like serious, like yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Thing. Because all of what you just saw, we were not bypassing the governor, so it was kind of slow. Um, so by bypassing the governor, the engine turns up a lot higher. We get a lot more RPM, more power. Well, not necessarily more power, just more RPM, which equals bigger wheelies, better acceleration, more top speed. Uh, we're going to be removing the governor, but that's going to be in the next part. But uh, what are you doing? I'm just seeing how high it's going to go. Yep. So what do you think, man? I think it's freaking awesome. Yeah. I like the colors. Uh, I like the engine. I like the seat. I just like it. Yeah, you guys pick good colors. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Of course, there's another poll going on on Cars Amina right now uh, uh, about the name of the go-kart. It looks so much better. And it drives fantastic. Yeah. Um, I really like what we did. Uh, and in case y'all don't remember, it was a, a pretty uh, ratty go-kart. I mean, but it was okay. I mean, it was a $25 go-kart. Yep. Uh, my buddy, uh, Jonathan. Sold it to you. Jonathan sold it to me. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, 25 bucks. Um, uh, it was a good starter, but we made it uh, uh, better, mainly because the... Uh, massive engine we put on it. it looks it looks awesome and now like before like it's not any faster than it was before but now it looks like it means business it looks like it could take on a corvette which we are hoping to do we we aren't sure if we'll be able to do it but we want to put this up against drag race in the eighth mile against that corvette that you guys have seen and have pointed out uh in the videos before yeah Gotta thank Go Power Sports for all the parts. These nice new tires, they grip so much better than the other ones do. They do. It actually turns now. They, they're wider, they're stickier, uh, they, they work great. The yeah. rear tires. <laughs> they're sticky. <laughs> oh man, she will pick up the front wheels. Yeah. No problems. No, you, get, you knock the dirt off them rear tires and you hit the gas, it just, grips and, <laughs> and, and you're looking at the sky oh by the way uh go power sports is the only one that sells right. this torque averter yep. torque converter torque averter whatever you want to call it uh cvt transmission no, it's pretty much a constant variable transmission yep they are the only ones that sell this uh for the larger uh, displacement for uh, the larger displacement engines uh clones. engines uh this works on the 420, uh, 420 the, 301, the 301. All the one inch shafts. All predators, the one inch shafts. I think. Pred they well, should. it should. Don't quote us. It definitely works on a 670. We proved that. Yeah. So thank you, Go Power Sports. That's right. Also, this build would not be possible without Cars Amino. Cars Amino is a mobile automotive community. It's an app you can download on your iPhone or Android device. And uh, it's a place where you can interact with other car enthusiasts or go kart enthusiasts. We've been posting some. Pretty cool content on there, some polls. Uh, that's how we came up with this color, obviously, because uh, you guys participated. We got four or 500 responses, a lot of responses. Uh, and flat black was the winner, but we went with satin black, and then green came in second, so we painted the wheels green. Uh, we got another poll going on in Cars Amino about the name. We've already mentioned that, though. <laughs> Ike wants Black Widow. We're gonna be posting more, uh, more things on Cars Amino. We're gonna be keeping up with that uh, in part four and part five. Um, also, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Uh, what else? Oh, order yourself a t-shirt. The holidays are coming. Uh, Christmas is like five days away. It's the 20th. Yeah, order yourself a t-shirt. I'm not going to promise that it'll get there by Christmas, but order one. The prices are going up after the new year. So uh, if you want one for uh, $20.75 with free shipping in the United States, order one now. So yeah, stay tuned on this build, everybody. Part four, the next part, we are going to be removing the governor, which is going to be interesting. Uh, we're going to be making a wheelie bar for this thing, and we're going to have it on a dyno to see what kind of power she's going to put out.
supposed to have it on the dyno. I'm supposed to current confirm. Confirm it tomorrow? So tomorrow I'm going to call up my buddy and try to confirm the dyno run on this uh, car. Hopefully. Hopefully he will come through. So, Hoping. It'll be fine. And then part five, we're going to be making some performance modifications to this bad boy, such as... Exhaust. Exhaust. Intake. Intake. Carb jet. Yes. And, uh, I don't know, whatever else we can find. Maybe. Yeah, whatever else we can find. Yeah. So, stay tuned. Yeah. So it's going to be making more than 22 horsepower and 31 torque. Hopefully. I mean, unless we really mess up. But we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Yep, and then, uh, and then maybe after that, we're really hoping, or I am anyway, that we're going to put this up against the Corvette, as we mentioned. What do you think? It's going to do at least 150 miles an hour. At least 150. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.